Hi everyone, welcome to this new video. My name is Aitan. On this channel, I talk about Kubernetes, blockchain, and software in general. And in today's video, we are going to take a look how we can send our Kubernetes logs to S3 bucket. And this video is an extension video of my previous distributed logging video, where I showed how you can use Fluent Bit to store the logs from your Kubernetes cluster to Elasticsearch. And in this video, we are going to extend the same files or same set of tutorials that we had, and we are additionally going to send the logs to S3 bucket as well, right? So without any further ado, let's start the video and let's jump directly into the screen. So if you see here, right now I am in this uh, distributed logging repository and I have already attached the video, like how uh, this tutorial was set up. And uh, if you see here, we had two folders like the install, which contains some prerequisite and I have created two folders, like one is for 1.21 and one is for 1.22 or plus. So these are the Kubernetes version. If you are running Kubernetes version, which is greater than 1.21, then you should use 1.22. And if we go here in this folder, we can see that we have role, we have role bindings, we have service account and we have the namespace as well. And if we go to the namespace file, we are going to create a namespace called logging and all the fluent bit related resource we are going to keep in that logging namespace. Now, if we go to the another folder, which is the fluent bit folder, and if you see here right now in this folder, we have two files. One is the fluent bit DS, and this is the daemon set, which is actually going to, you know, run on to the cluster and start capturing up the logs, right? And if you see here that this video was for the elastic search where we were storing the logs that were collected by the fluent bit and we are storing them into the elastic search but in this video we are going to forward these logs to s3 bucket as well and nothing much in this file right and now let's go to this fluent bit cm which is the config map and this is basically the actual configuration like how the logs collection should happen what should be the input plugin what should be the filters what should be the output like where the logs will get stored and if you see here if you if you go to this file you can see that we have a input section where we are basically capturing up the or we are using up the tail plugin from the fluent bit and we are basically tailing whatever is there in this particular location in the form of uh, logs and we are just tagging it to cube dot asterisk so all the logs that are you know present at this location inside the node we are going to tag them as cube dot asterisk now we have filters here and what we are doing, we are going to use is we are having a cube, Kubernetes filter and we are basically matching for all the logs that has this kind of a tag, right? And then we are doing merge and trim of certain labels and we are additionally adding some labels to those logs so that we can get feature rich logs like the container name, the image, all those properties we can get additionally. Now there is one more input plugin which is for system D or the system logs and they are tagged as, as host dot asterisk and uh, in this video or in this tutorial we are going to use the or we are going to store the logs which are tagged with cube dot asterisk so that uh, we can store them into the s3 bucket right and if you see this is the older file or uh, the one that i used in the last video where we were using the Elasticsearch plugin and we were storing all the logs that were starting with cube dot asterisk tag right and we were passing up the fluent uh, the Elasticsearch host and we are giving the Elasticsearch port as well. And then in Elasticsearch, we have to create the index. So that's why we create an index called my index. So this was good when we wanted to do, or we want when we wanted to store the logs into the Elasticsearch, but when we want to store the logs onto S3 bucket, maybe for you want to do some analysis or you want to retain the log, you want to cut down the cost, maybe from the Kubernetes side, because disks are anyway costly than the S3 bucket. So in that use case, you can store the logs into the S3 bucket and then you can use them as well. And for this video, I have already created a bucket in my, uh, uh, in my S3 uh, or in my AWS account. And if you see here, the bucket name is K8 logs. So this is the bucket where I'm going to store the logs and this is created in US East 2 region. And if we go here, this bucket doesn't have anything because we have not started the application, right? And one more thing, uh, so you will be needing the AWS access key and the secret so that your Fluent Bit can authenticate to AWS authentication and then it can start storing the logs to S3, right? And you can easily get them from here. You can just go to accounts or maybe security credentials. And 
and if you scroll here you can see there is an option to create an access key so you can use this uh, you can create an access key and you can use it in my case i have already created an access key so that access key and secret that will i am going to use but you can go ahead and create your own access key and secret now after this once we have the s3 bucket once we have the secret now it's time to uh, see what changes we have to make to this existing project so that it can start sending up the logs to last of s3 bucket right so i'll go to my vs code and i have already opened that same repository here i have cloned it here and what i have done is i have made the changes here and i'll show you what changes i have made what changes you have to make in order to store those logs to s3 bucket and since it, it was a git repository so it's easier for me to show you what changes i have done using the diff so if you see here let's go to the d1 set first and if i go to d1 set let's close this so here you can see the first change that i have made is i upgrade the fluent bit image from 1.5 to 2.1 so now we are going to use the latest image which is 2.1 as of now uh, while recording this video and the other property that i added is i have added aws access key and i have added aws secret key and again this i got from my aws console and you can easily create these keys and you can start mounting them or you can use them as an environment variable now no other changes made to this file except these two changes the image change and the uh, environment that and setting up the aws access key in secret in the form of environment variable uh, we are good so far and now let's try to see the what changes we have to actually made in the config uh, uh in the configuration in the fluent bit configuration and one thing we have to remember it since we are going to store something from uh, from our fluent bit to outside so definitely it's going to be an output section that we have to modify and we will be going to use a plugin uh, that is available in the fluent bit to uh, store the logs to s3 bucket and let's go to uh, fluent bit web plugins and i'll search for fluent bit s3 first link that comes is that comes from the fluent bit website and if you see here uh, this is the plugin that we are going to use to store the logs to s3 bucket right and you can see the bunch of configuration parameters that you can pass on if you want to customize them or you want to set we have to set some properties right we have to some set some properties then only fluent bit will know like where exactly to send those uh, logs and in which format and there is a sample configuration if i scroll down you'll find a sample configuration this is a sample configuration that is given and we are going to use the same kind of a configuration so if i go to uh, uh, again my vs code and now let's try to see the changes that i have made in the another configuration or in the config map right and if i go here let's see the changes that we have made and here so the above sections are quite similar we have not made change to the but the changes that i have made is i have added a new output section and this time we are going to use the s3 plugin uh, that is coming from fluent bit and then we are we are interested in storing whatever all those logs that are tagged with cube dot right we are going to store them into s3 bucket now you have to give the bucket name as well and in my case i already showed you that i create a bucket called kate logs that bucket already i am passing it here i am also passing the region and uh, this region you can easily get from the AWS console if you go here and if you search for let's say s3 so we can see that the bucket name is uh, k8 logs and soon you will be able to see the region here as well so we can see that the region on which this bucket is created is us is 2 now coming back to our configuration and uh, that's this is the only change that i have made and one more slight change that i have made here is if you if i scroll down and there is one more change i have modified the config uh, map name uh, right now i'm using the correct config map name but the this repository or this file was wrong in the git so that also i have modified it here now what we'll do we'll just quickly create all these things into the cluster and then we should be able to see the logs getting stored into the s3 bucket and i'm already into that same uh repository distributed logging and what i'll do is i'll just do ls just to see if i'm right in the right place and let's apply first the install part where uh, i'm going to use kubernetes uh, or the files that are in v1.22 because my cluster is running on higher versions so i'll run this 
okay let's uh, apply this again because uh, the namespace was not created and now we can see that the install install part is done now we can basically install or we can install the fluent bit so what i'll do is i'll just comment this uh, this section which is the uh, which is the s3 part for now uh, because i don't want to store anything to s3 so i'll comment this for now and now let's try to uh, run this files so i'll do k apply and fluent bit so whatever is there is in this fluent bit directory it will get applied and if we see the pod if the pod is coming up or not it should come in the login namespace so it's getting created let's wait for some time uh, to get this pod created let's see again okay it's erroring out uh, probably this is due to the configuration so we cannot comment it out like this what I'll do, I'll just remove this configuration for now. And let's apply this again. And since, since it's a daemon set, what I'll do, I'll just delete the daemon set uh, so that it get recreated with the new configuration. So I'll do K okay, delete. And I have to delete in login namespace and let's delete the fluent bit uh, pod that is created. So since the pod is deleted and let's see, let's do a get pods and let's see if the pod is coming up or not. So it's not coming up. Let's see what is wrong here. So I'll do the log and let's do hyphen f. Okay, so it says that invalid configuration. Let's try to fix this part. Okay, let's try to apply this new configuration and I'll do K apply flow and bit. So it's a, some intonation issue. Uh, let's try to apply this and let's try to delete the fluent bit uh, daemon. Okay, now let's delete the pod. Uh, fluent bit pod, let's try to delete it. And after this, let's see the if the pod is running or not. Let's if it is not crashing or not. So this should delete the pod forcefully. Pod is deleted, and let's see if the pod is new pod is coming up or not. And it's in pending phase. Let's do hyphen W so that we can watch this. Okay, so our pod is running fine, and it was just a internal issue and let's try to see the logs of this pod so i'll do k pod or k logs and the pod id is 6490 and here you can see that it's running perfectly fine and it's watching for all these location inside uh, inside the node to get the logs and in some time we will be able to see these logs getting stored in the s3 bucket as well so let's wait for some time to get these things stored in the s3 bucket and here you can see that s3 plugin got also initialized like we can see the upload limit is this thing and in some time we should be able to see the logs getting stored in the s3 as well so i'll do a hyphen f so that we can see the tailing log and in some time they should be stored in the s3 bucket as well and for more details, like for more details on the how to configure this plugin, you can always go to this uh, Amazon S3 Fluent Bit plugin and you can read more about all these properties, like what all these properties are used for. So you can you can read more about if you want to do enable compression, then you can enable the Jesus compression and your file will be stored in the compressed format. And one more thing I just want to you know show you here. Uh, let me open this file here.
so if you see here uh, i have defined the tag something or the the key format like how this records or how these logs will be stored into s3 so i have given the format something like this where i'm using a delimiter which is going to split the tag name by hyphen so whatever comes uh, whatever so whenever there is something uh, some hyphen coming up in between those in, in between the tag name then it will split it then then it will split it up and i'm using those uh, the splitted tags here like the in using the index like tag 0 tag 1 tag 2 and here you can see i'm giving the year month and date and r as well in in the form of log or in the form of folders and then the log file will be stored with a random uuid and the extension of that file will be dot log right so this is what we are trying to do and let's see if uh, the logs got stored into the s3 bucket or not so it will wait for some time because it is waiting for uh, that particular minimum chunk to uh, of log to get collected and then it will store those logs into s3 bucket so i'll close this logs and what i'll do i'll just monitor my s3 uh, bucket like just to see if any new something got pushed here or not so right now nothing got pushed and we'll we have, we'll, we'll have to wait for some time to get the objects pushed to here and now if we go to our s3 bucket we can see uh, something came up in this bucket and if we go inside this folder we should be able to see and by the way this is the tag like the tag or tag of zero or tag of two that we gave uh, in in the format like how we want our logs uh, should come up to our s3 bucket and let's go inside this and let's see what logs if the logs are actually getting stored here or not so i'm going inside all the folder and we should have a log file that we uh, will download and see if what exactly that file contains and this is the year so if you remember uh, in the log we have configured or the log path we have configured year then month and then day and after that it will give us the time as well so this is the day and then it will give you time as well time in hours and minutes so there will be an hour folder and then there will be a minute folder as well okay now this is the log file and let's try to download this log file and let's see what exactly this log file has okay now we can download this log file so let's download and let's see what this log file has whether the, it does it really has the logs or not so log file got downloaded and let's try to open this in the vs code and uh, if i open that log file here we should be able to see the logs in it so my log file is opening up and we should see the logs sometime here okay uh, we can see something here uh, this log file is not empty and we can see we can see some of the logs that are getting generated like we can see the date we can see the you know log and we should be able to see other things as well in this log so if i try to scroll it uh, we can see the labels so this is the kubernetes label and there was a filter uh, that we added using where we are enriching those logs so we added that labels and now we can see all the pod data details like the container name the docker id basically this is the container id the docker container hash so all those properties you can see here and uh, these are the logs so this way like we are able to see our logs here uh, into our s into the s3 bucket and let's see the logs like what is exactly happening with the logs so i'll run this again just to verify if the logs if we see any activity or any message that the logs were pushed or not and if you try to see the logs here you can see that it successfully uploaded the files the log files to the aws s3 bucket here and we can see here that we, we were getting the message like successfully uploaded the object at this particular location in the s3 bucket yeah so this is what i want to show in this video like how you can push the logs from your kubernetes cluster to s3 bucket and you can use these logs for retention purpose or maybe you want to run some analytical workloads you can run on the top of s3 bucket and if you like this video then please give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and i'll be in the next one